Only on Christ 17 TV. Back with another one. And today I want to send my prayers out for all the people in Maui who've lost their lives, all the families that lost lost their houses, lost everything in these horrible wildfires. I've never seen fires like that in Hawaii ever. California is good for this kind of stuff, but Hawaii, I've never seen it like that. Shit is crazy, like, <laughs> never seen it, man. So it's nuts. So my prayers go out to all the families and all the people that have lost their lives because I'll tell you this, one of my fears of death is burning up. That's one of my top five is burning alive. So with that being said, man, let me show you something. Here we go. Emergency responders say at least 36 people have died and dozens are injured. Mass evacuations are underway with thousands of residents and tourists racing to escape fires that are destroying one of the most beautiful and historic parts of Hawaii. There is hundreds of homes burned down to the ground. The entire area of Front Street, the whole historic area is gone, burned to the ground, the harbor. Multiple fires began flaring up Tuesday and quickly spread, swallowing up beautiful landscapes and centuries-old buildings. Hundreds of homes and businesses are damaged or destroyed. In Lahaina, once the capital of the native Hawaiian kingdom, homes dating back to the 1700s reportedly are gone. The fast-moving flames causing panic and a fight for survival. Hey, if anybody's still out here, it's time to go! It was the last one off the dock when the firestorm came through the banyan tree and took everything with it. And I just ran out to the beach and I ran south and I just helped everybody I could along the way. The Coast Guard rescuing more than a dozen people who jumped into the ocean to escape the fire. Firefighters are working around the clock but the winds and dry conditions are feeding the fires. Southern California pastor Greg Laurie leads a congregation in Maui. Just weeks ago, CBN News traveled with him on his most recent visit. Today, he's posting on social media some video of that trip and the devastation that's occurred since. Here's a video that we shot recently when we were over there, and I'm riding a Vespa down Front Street and uh, and now, as you see how beautiful it is, look at these images of what it has looked like when this fire raged through this city and burned down most of the structures in it. That is the fucking saddest shit. They talking about these buildings been here since the 1700s. Historic landmarks and everything gone. History erased. I really think a lot of these fires that be California now out there, I think it's man-made, arsonist, you know, because for it to get that, like, to spread that fast, I feel like it's lit in different spots to make it go faster. That's what I personally think. I could be wrong, but that's what I personally think. But to all the families and all the businesses and Everybody who's lost everything they worked so hard for, my prayers go out. And Maui's always a place I wanted to visit, always wanted to see it. I don't know if it's going to ever be the same now. So I don't know if going to Maui is going to be anything like it would have been going, say, a month ago. But I just feel bad for all the people that lost their lives engulfed in flames all the people that had to jump in the ocean do we burn to death or do we jump in the ocean with the sharks i'm jumping in the ocean too with the sharks i'm not gonna burn up to death even though i feel i've i fear sharks too but i don't want to burn alive that's that that's that's a fact so everybody you know Say your prayers, man. Condolences out to everybody who lost family members, friends, houses, um, businesses. People who've been there their whole life, grew up there their whole life, and now everything is gone. Um, no words to say 
to help, but I just want to say my prayers are out to everybody in Maui and everybody get out of there safe, man, because it looks horrible. It looks like, man, it looks crazy. I ain't seen no fire like that to make you got to jump in the ocean. So, so I don't know, man. I don't know. My prayers just go out to all the family, all the friends that have been lost there. And everybody just drop the prayers in the comments for Maui, man. Come on, Maui. Let's get back right, man. Christ 17 TV. This is a sad one. Hopefully nobody else loses their life there. Such a beautiful place to go up in flames. And it's a sad day for people in Maui. California has a lot of fires too. A lot. But I've never seen it where you got to jump in the ocean. That's just crazy. So with that being said, man, like I said, I hope there's no more deaths. Hope everybody can make it out alive. <clears throat> and with that being said, man, um, I'm going to catch you on the flip side, man. Like and subscribe. This is just a sad thing to, to see and keep seeing. And it went from four deaths to 36 deaths. So they're still finding more bodies and more bodies. And that fire was spreading. You know how they say spread like a wildfire? That's what it means. When it's when it spreads that fast and takes out that much in this quick of a time, in a snap of a finger, the whole town is gone. Historic buildings, businesses, things that have been there forever as long as they've been there. Sad sight to see, and like I said, my prayers go out to that whole city, the whole community, and everybody who's lost anything. My condolences, Christ 17 TV. Catch you on the flip side. Everybody, say their prayers for Maui, man.